Okay, I'm gonna do this thing right now. Hope this works. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do a demonstration of how to make a function uh, in an R, which is a statistics package software. All right, so I'm just gonna make a little thing called my function. Uh, okay. Say that it's a function, and it's going to take an input. And we'll just call it n. Okay, so now we're going to want to do something multiple times because we want to generate multiple numbers. So we're going to do for i in one through n. Okay, and then uh, we're going to want to do the uh, uniform function, right? uh, and then we want to generate one number between zero and one, and then we want to. Oh, This is working right. Let's copy all this. Our thing right here. Paste it in here. That's our type in my function. Hit, hit tab to complete it. So we want to generate 10 random numbers between 0 and 1. Let's see if that works. Good. <laughs> okay. So. So <clears throat> now we're generating random numbers. Now we can do some stuff with the random number. Okay, so if the random number is greater than, I don't know, 5.5, uh, we'll, let's say, print. Zero. Uh, else, if let's just, I'm lazy, <laughs> I'm just gonna copy and paste. So if the random number is greater than 5, else if the random number is greater than 0 0.4, 0 0.2. I'm just, you know, making a random uh, probability density function distribution, I guess. Um, so it's 0, let's say this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. I guess else <laughs> we could make an else print. Um, oh, wait a second, they all have to add up to one actually. Let me just fill this in real quick. Okay, so 
could do five. I could do point two five, point two five. Do something like that. Uh, it's greater. Than, let's just see how this works. Not good. <laughs> Alright, so let's copy all this stuff. Try this in our then now we're gonna do my function. generated some some numbers that weren't greater than that. I guess some of them were lower than 0.25. What did I have in my code? If it's if you do less than 0.25. Less than or equal to 0.25. Then that should be good. So now we've got a little distribution. So uh, that was, here's the code once again that did it. Uh, you can see it on the side right here. Uh, try not to get it on the, in the screen. Okay, so we got a for loop. This is the end. And for end. Oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> okay. Um, so there you go. That's how you do a function. Enjoy.